Yo, what's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get the perfect sample loop. We're gonna be talking about transients, loop points, and we're also gonna be talking about counting bars. So let's get right into it. The song that I'm gonna be sampling today is by the group called Nor, and it's called The System. I'm gonna link it down in the description for you to check it out. I have it pulled up here in Serato and I got it pitched up three semitones, okay? up to A minor. Its normal key is F sharp minor. I also have it time stretched to 72 BPM. Before we really get into the loop, let's visualize this waveform here. Okay, so this is the song. Now, I'm going to tell you something about samples and loops. You can find them anywhere in the song, but a lot of times, in my experience, you'll find some dope samples at the intro of the song, more towards the middle or towards an area where there's a break in the song, like right here. Or you also find some goodies towards the end of the song. Now, this particular track has hits and samples and goodies throughout the whole thing. So keep that in mind. It's not with everything, but a lot of songs kind of follow a structure. They got an intro, verse, chorus, breakdown, verse, chorus, or, you know, it might be in some form like that, but it'll have all of those elements in a certain way. And they're very similar song to song. So you'll start to understand the similarities and be able to Oh, that's the chorus. Oh, this is the bridge. Oh, this is the breakdown. Oh, this is the verse. Oh, this is just a drum fill. You'll, you'll start to understand the different parts of an actual song. And also, if you're looking at a waveform, don't be slipping on these silent parts. You can see there's these parts with lots of sound information, but then there's these parts with not much going on. Don't be slipping on little bits like that also. What's some, what's this over here? This quiet. That could bring you some sauce as well. But let's go back into Serato and I'm going to show you some of the parts that I've already picked out here. Mm, yeah. That's two bars, two bars in the song, and that right there could be looped over and over and over and make a whole beat. But let me show you what I did with it. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just something like that, as simple as that. All I'm doing there is repeating the first bar three times then letting it drag out but i'm also adding flare on that second hit that i'm repeating the first bar towards the end i'm repeating the snare hit if we look at serato sample here mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a second chop is that snare so it just gives me a little extra sauce when i'm creating the loop mm, yeah. Yeah. what i'm saying so don't be sleeping on doing stuff like that and it takes practice really listening to songs but you'll be able to listen and be like oh that's only a bar oh that's only two bars because if we listen and i'm going to count with my fingers i'll go one and two and three yeah and four and then that'll be one bar so let's hear it mm, yeah. So eventually you'll be able to count those and understand oh that's how this loops and really another way to help you count the bars is look at these transients so right at the start here is this kick transient transients being just these peaks if we go back to this waveform here you can see all these different peaks and that is just a loud part in the track whether it be a kick or a snare or something that's punching through the mix we listen right here <laughs> those stabs of the piano are punching through and then the snares punching through and even when he starts his vocals the initial hit of the vocal is punching through the mix so it adds a transient these are very important to understand these peaks and these valleys and you can see the top of the waveform it's like a mountain range and it's almost mirrored at the bottom of it okay so really keep that in mind we go back into serato that's how i'm getting the loop is starting at the first kick transient Case it's a crash and a kick at the same time. Mm, yeah. Yeah. 
right here is the start of it and right here is the end of that bar you can hear it go into that same drum pattern again mm, yeah. If you're able to break it down into sections into bars like that in your mind you're going to be able to get your loops 10 times easier because you're going to understand how it actually is looping you know what i'm saying so now i wanted to move down into some kind of breakdown for this track we got to find some kind of breakdown chop so this was one of the chops i chose the way that this song is done this part is not on bpm it's not on the same bpm as this other part yeah. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be. This breakdown chop is not necessarily meant for rapping, it's meant for transition and just flavor and sauce. So you don't have to have it be on BPM. As long as you can have a little finesse with it and still make it flow right into your loop, it's going to be dope. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Here, right when it goes into looping again, it hits that initial guitar stab or whatever instrument it is. <laughs> Loops it again. Before it hits that loop, that natural loop it has, I'm going to try to loop it with itself. I'm going to do that three times, and then I'm going to hit it in a faster succession four more times to give it that transition. You'll hear what I'm talking about. Let's mess with it. So when the verse chops actually go into it, it kind of gets your attention because you're not expecting it because it's that tempo change and it just adds some flair and sauce. But now we need to have those breakdown chops go into something else because I don't necessarily want it to go back and loop into that first verse yet. I still want something else. I know later on in this song, there's another part that I liked. Here's the next chop is later on in the song. I'm just playing the first bar and then letting it repeat for that fourth hit playing the first bar three times and the fourth hit playing it out so let's hear those breakdown chops into that chop It just lets us bring it around perfectly at least perfectly in my opinion this is the kind of loop that i like looking for something that has a lot of flavor doesn't get monotonous on the ears it evolves over time and it has breakdown chops and a lot of different swag and finesse in it to make it kind of stand out but really don't be sleeping on doing that now let's listen to the full loop mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. So as you can hear, that's some serious flavor. I'm going to get this recorded in and export all the stems, get it all pretty much in the playlist ready to go. And I'm going to show you a couple of arrangement tips with it. So I'll be back in a second. All right, so we got our loop laid out here, got it, the stems extracted. What I'm going to do is as long as nothing's highlighted on the black bar here, I'm just going to control and left click and highlight the elements and do a control B and it will just loop them exactly right. Put them right on the end of the other one. If we listen. Mm, 
Good. Good. But for some arrangement, since drums have been going out through this whole thing, when it loops back around, I'm actually going to take the drums out. Just for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds a little weird just to how the stems were split. So I'm going to highlight this area, go into the mixer, and I'll just throw on a Fruity Love filter and let's just put in a simple high pass. Yeah. 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 I'll have it start up here. Let's put an empty pattern in. Drag it out to the area. Go up here and make sure notes and automation is on by right clicking the recording button. Go back into love filter. Left click the recording button to arm it and we're just going to mess with this cutoff. Yeah. 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 I'll help it loop back into itself. And I'm also going to bring the love filters mix and all down. Right click, create automation clip. I'm just going to do something like that just to have it only happen during that part. And actually, we're going to have this repeat, but have the drums come back in. So we'll bring this out. Bring this back. pretty much it for this video if this video brought you value make sure you leave a like hit subscribe and hit the little bell for more videos let me know in the comments if there's anything you need to learn in fl studio and also if you need any samples drum kits drum sounds check out the vault sounds and use the promo code jfatty to get 20 percent off they got really high quality stuff over there so go check them out but yeah make sure you stay safe stay striving and always be getting it much love everybody Peace.